Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMC. In this video, we are going to learn mental math sums and do multiplication worksheet in class 5. Let us begin the video with the mental math sums. You know what is a mental math. The math sums which are done without the use of pen and paper with just mind calculations are called as mental math sums. Let us begin this by doing multiply 55 by 101. In the usual way, you will write the 3 digit number on the top, then the 2 digit number at the bottom and begin multiplying from 1's place. And it does involve carryover concepts. But in the mental math method, let us see how we are going to do this. We can break up 101 or 101 as 100 plus 1. So, this will be equivalent to 55 into 100 plus 55 into 1. Do they mean the same? We have to multiply 55 by 101. 101 can be split as 100 plus 1. So, to multiply 55 into 101, we can do it as 55 into 100 plus 55 into 1. This is a very easy multiplication. 55 into 100, what you will do? 55 followed by two zeros. So, you will get 5500 plus 55 into 1 is 55 and this addition is yet again easy and you will get the answer to be 5555. So, 55 into 101 will give you 5555. As it is the first time we are going to do this method, I have explained each and every step. Once the children start getting used to this methodology, they can quickly do it in just one or two steps in the mental map without the use of pen and paper. Let us do more sums now. 28 into 101. So, the closest multiple of 10 to 101 is 100. So, you can split 101 as 100 plus 1. So, this is nothing but you can write it as 28 into 100 plus 28 into 1. What is 28 into 100? 28 followed by two zeros. So, you will get 2800. Multiplication by zeros is a special case and I have dealt that concept in a separate video. Link to that video is given below in the description box and also in the iCard section. You may refer that video to understand how do you multiply by zeros. Next, 28 by 1. So the answer is 2828. See how in such simple three steps you arrive at the answer for 28 into 101. Next, let us see 46 into 102. 102 is again closer to 100. So, you can split it as 100 plus 2. 46 into 100 plus 46 into 2. 46 into 100 is 4600. 46 into 2 is 92. So, when you add these two, you will get 4692. See, we are doing it very fast now. Let us do it more quickly than this now. 7 into 202. 202 is closer to 200 which is at again a multiple of 10. So, 202 can be written as 200 plus 2. So, when you write this, you can write it as 7 into 200 plus 7 into 2. 7 into 200, how do you do this? 7 into 2, first you multiply it as 14 followed by the two zeros. Next, 7 into 2 is 14. When you add these two, you will get the answer to be 1414. Let us do the next sum, 5 into 103. 103 can be written as 100 plus 3. So, 5 into 100 plus 5 into 3. What is 5 into 100? 5 into 100 is 500 plus 5 into 3 is 15. So, when you add these two, you will get the answer to be 515. Hope you have understood how we are doing this part of the mental math calculation. We are going to see another type now. Multiply 9 by 29. 29 here is closer to 30 which is a multiple of 10. So, how do you do it in this case? We can write 29 as 30 minus 1. So, 9 into 29 can be written as 9 into 30 minus 9 into 1. It is same as multiplying the number by 9 into 29 because 29 can be written as 30 minus 1. What is 9 into 30? 9 into 30 is 270 minus 9. What will you get? 261. So, 9 into 29 is equal to 261. Let us do more sums like this to understand the concept better. 
8 into 19. 19 is closer to 20 which is a multiple of 10. So 19 can be written as 20 minus 1. So how do you do this now? 8 into 20 minus 8 into 1. 8 into 20 is 8 twos are 16. You can you add that one more zero and you get the answer to be 160 minus 8. And it is 152. So 8 into 19 is 152. Next, 7 into 49. 49 is closer to 50. So, it can be written as 50 minus 1. So, 7 into 50 minus 7 into 1. What is 7 into 50? 5 sevens are 35 followed by 0. You get 350 minus 7. What is the answer? 350 minus 7 is 343. So, 7 into 49 will give you the answer. 343. See how quickly we are doing this without using the carryover concept at all. You can just do it mentally. That is the advantage of doing mental math sums. 6 into 39. Closest number of which is a multiple of 10 is 40. So 39 can be written as 40 minus 1. So 6 into 40 minus 6 into 1. What is 6 into 40? 6 fours are 24 followed by the 0. You will get 240 minus 6. So, 240 minus 6 will give you the answer, 234. Next question we have here is 4 into 59. 59 can be written as 60 minus 1. So, 4 into 60 minus 4 into 1. What is 4 into 60? 240 minus 4. What is 240 minus 4? 236. See how easily we have done the mental math calculations. The next topic that we are going to see is choose the correct answer. Stay with me till the end of this video as we have many interesting exercises in the worksheet model. When you multiply a two digit number by a three digit number, the product is a four digit number, a five digit number, six digit number or either one or two. What does it mean? It could be either a four digit number or a five digit number which is the correct answer. Yes, the answer can be a 4-digit number or a 5-digit number. Let us take the simple example. The highest 3-digit number is 999 and the highest 2-digit number is 99. When you multiply these two, you get an answer in 5-digit number. And in more, many cases, you get the answer to be 4-digit number when you multiply smaller numbers in 3-digit and 2-digit numbers. So, the answer is either 1 or 2. It can be either a 4-digit number or a 5-digit number. Next question is, what is 1234 added to itself 20 times? So, what is the answer? 1234 plus 20, 20 into 1234, 1234 minus 20 or none of the above. Let us try to first understand what this statements mean. What is 1234 added to itself 20 times? What do you mean by added to itself? It is getting repeated 20 times. So, 20 times 1234. So, when you see the word times, it means that it is going to be multiplication. 20 into 1234 is the correct answer because we want 20 times 1234. Okay. So, let us move on to the next question. What should be added to 7 into 22 to get 10 into 22? What does this mean? There are 7 groups of 22 items in each of it. We want 10 groups with 22 items in each of it. So, what should we add? 7 into 10 or just a 3, a 3 into 22 or 7 into 22. Understand the question again. We have 7 groups of 22 items each. We need 10 groups of 22 items. So, we will have to add 3 into 22 to 7 into 22 to get the answer 10 into 22. The answer in multiplication is called a product, sum, difference, factors. Which is the correct answer? Product is the correct answer. The answer in multiplication is called a product. The answer in addition is called a sum. The answer in subtraction is called a difference. And what are these factors? The numbers that are multiplied to obtain a product are called as factors. Supposing 2 into 3 is equal to 6. 
6 is called as a product which is the answer and multiplication. 2 and 3 are called as the factors. Hope you have understood so far. Now let us move on to the next worksheet sum. Multiply 5371 by 62. This is a 4 digit by 2 digit multiplication. So we will first write down the numbers, the place values for easier handling. Begin multiplication from the 1's place. 2 into 1 is 2. 2 7's are 14. 4 carry over 1. 2 3's are 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. 2 5's are 10. So 0 will be in the 1000's place and 1 will move to the next place value 10,000. Remove all these calculations because next we are going to multiply 5371 by 60 because 6 is in the tens place. So add a 0 in the 1's place and begin the multiplication. 6 into 1 is 6. 6 into 7 is 42. 2 carry over 4. 6 into 3 is 18. 18 plus 4 is 22. 2 carry over 2. 6 into 5 is 30. 30 plus 2 is 32. 2 in the 10,000's place and 3 will now move to the lakhs place. So now we have to add both the products. 2 plus 0 is 2. 4 plus 6 is 10. 0 carry over 1. 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. 0 carry over 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. 1 plus 2 is 3 and the lakhs place. Take and write down the 3 just like that. And you get the answer to be 3 lakh 33,000 and 2. So here in this case, Multiplying a 4 digit number by a 2 digit number, we got a 6 digit number as the answer. Dear viewers, I have dealt with the concept of multiplying 4 digit number by 2 digit numbers in a separate video with ample examples. Since this is a worksheet, I have just selected few sums and given it over here. For sufficient practice, please do refer to that video. I have given link to that video in the description box and also in the iCard section. Let us do the next variety of sum of 4 digit by a 3 digit number multiplication. Write down the numbers at the respective place values and begin the multiplication from the 1's place. 7 into 3 is 21. 1 carry over 2. 7 into 2 is 14. 14 plus 2 is 16. 6 carry over 1. 7 into 2 is 14. 14 plus 1 is 15. 5 and the 1 will be carried over. Next 7 into 6 is 42. 42 plus 1 is 43. So 3 in the 1000's place. And 4 will move to the 10,000's place. Next, we are going to multiply 6,223 by 10 because 1 is in the 10's place. First, you multiply it by 1's which is nothing but 6,223 by 7 and you got the answer to be 43,561. The next step is to multiply 6,223 by 10. So, first add a 0 in the 1's place. 1 into 3 is 3. 1 into 2 is 2. Again, 1 into 2 is 2 and 1 into 6 is 6. Next step is to multiply 6223 by 400 because 4 is in the 100's place. Now add two zeros, one in the 1's place and another 0 in the 10's place. So whenever you multiply a number in the 100's place, in the 1's and 10's place, you should add 0. These are the rules of multiplication. Next, 4 into 3 is 12. 2 carry over 1. 4 into 2 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. 4 into 2 is 8. Then 4 into 6 is 24. So 4 in the lakhs place and 2 will move to the 10 lakhs place. So now the next step is to add all the products. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. 6 plus 3 is 9 and 9 plus 0 is 9. Next 5 plus 2 is 7 and 7 plus 2 is 9. 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 9 is 14, 4 carry over 1, 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 plus 6 is 11, 11 plus 8 is 19, 9 carry over 1, 1 plus 4 is 5 and in the 10 lakhs place you can take and write down the number 2. So what is the answer you get? 25 lakh 94,991. So here you see that multiplying a 4 digit number by 3 digit number we got a 7 digit number is the answer. Dear viewers, I have dealt with this topic of multiplication of a 4 digit number by a 3 digit number in a separate video with many examples for your better understanding. You may refer to that video. The link to that video is given below in the description box and also in the iCard section. Let us do the next sum. Here we have an interesting sum. Multiply 
8008 by 408. Here I said it interesting because you have zeros in both the numbers. So write down the numbers under its respective place values. Begin the multiplication from the ones place. 8 8s are 64. So 4 carry over 6. 8 into 0 is 0. 0 plus 6 is 6. Next 8 into 0 is 0. And 8 into 8 is 64. 4 will be there in the thousands place. And 6 will move to the ten thousands place. Next step is we have a 0 in the tens place. When you have a 0 you can strip, skip the multiplication of that entire step. And then move on to the next number which is there in the next place value. We have 4 in the hundreds place. So we have to multiply 8008 by 400. So add a 0 in the ones place. Another 0 in the tens place. And now begin multiplication by 4. 4 into 8 is 32. 2 carry over 3. 4 into 0 is 0. 0 plus 3 is 3. 4 into 0 is 0. And 4 into 8 is 32. 2 in the lakhs place and 3 will move to the 10 lakhs place. So here you have to add both the products. 4 plus 0 is 4. 6 plus 0 is 6. 0 plus 2 is 2. 4 plus 3 is 7. 6 plus 0 is 6. And in the lakhs and 10 lakhs place, you can write down 2 and 3 respectively. So what is the answer? 32,67,264. Hope you enjoyed doing the worksheet. Next, let us see a word problem. A wholesale fruits shop had ordered 5,372 containers with 53 assorted fruit boxes in each of the container. How many fruit boxes were ordered in all? First step is to take and write down the information given. Number of containers ordered by the shop is equal to 5,372. Number of fruit boxes in each of the container is equal to 53. So what do you have to do? We have to find out how many fruit boxes were there in all or ordered in all. So to find that, we will have to multiply 5,372 by 53. Begin the multiplication from the ones place. 3 into 2 is 6. 3 7s are 21. 1 carry over 2. 3 3s are 9. 9 plus 2 is 11. 1 carry over 1. 3 5s are 15. 15 plus 1 is 16. 6 and 1 will move to the 10 thousands place. Next, add a 0 in the 1's place and begin multiplying by 50 because we have a 5 in the 10's place. 5 into 2 is 10. 0 carry over 1. 5 7s are 35. 35 plus 1, 36, 6 carry over 3. 5 threes are 15, 15 plus 3 is 18, 8 carry over 1. 5 fives are 25, 25 plus 1 is 26, 6 and the 2 will move on to the lakhs place. Now add both the products, 6 plus 0 is 6, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 6 is 7, 6 plus 8 is 14, 4 carry over 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 6 is 8. And in the lakhs place, take and write down the number 2. So the answer that you get is 2,84,716. What is this? This is the total number of fruit boxes. Therefore, 2,84,716 fruit boxes were ordered in all. Dear viewers, these are all the learning outcome in class 5 under the topic multiplication. Of which I had covered the first topic 4 digit by 2 digit number multiplication. The next topic 4 digit by 3 digit number multiplication. And then we covered multiplying numbers with zeros. And then we did story sums. And each of these topics were dealt with in separate videos. In this video we saw mental math and a quick revision of whatever we, we learnt in all the other videos in the form of a worksheet. So links to each of these videos are given below in the description box for a quick and easy access. You may also click on the in-screen video which will take you to the playlist containing the class 5 multiplication videos. With this we complete all the topic for multiplication under class 5. We will next move on to the division and its application concept. If you like the video give a thumbs up and share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button for regular notifications of all the new videos that I make at my channel. See you again in the next video in the concept of division.